Spiritual solitude is a huge component in self-evolution. And when you want to evolve, or you are evolving, regardless if you want to or not, like someone like myself, who is developing clairvoyant abilities by the age of 20, because that's my genetic disposition as a Caribbean person, just comes to you, and you have to accept it. And you could, you could denounce it if you want. It's going to be a hard life after that, though. You're going to be at odds with yourself. It came to the point where it says in many books, many esoteric spiritual books, that it's going to come to a point where you're not going to relate to people anymore. People are not going to relate to you. The friends I used to be friends with, they didn't relate to it anymore. So there was a time where I had to have solitude and force myself into solitude because I wasn't trying to play myself. I, if something wasn't right for me, I couldn't force myself in it. My body was rejecting it, my mind was rejecting it, my spirit was rejecting it. So I had to be alone. And then I accepted it. And I was like, okay, this is what comes with it. It's a gift and a curse. And that's okay with me. Hold up. It's been raining, dark clouds. But I'm here in Merida, headed to my Airbnb. I am so tired. It took me probably just as long to get the rental car and um, get to my Airbnb as it took for me to get from Dallas to Merida. It's, it's just like, anyway, I'm here now. So I finally made it to my Airbnb. Okay, what in the Where's Waldo design shit is going on here? <laughs> okay, so ugh. I I'm in my Airbnb and I'm a little irritated because I specifically told them when I was booking it that I wanted to be on the first floor. She said that her place was on the second floor. So I'm like, eh, okay, I can go up a flight of stairs. No, bitch, no. Her shit's on the third floor, the top floor, which is what she should have said when I said that I had back issues. She should have said, well, it's on the top floor. Not sure if you want to do that. And I have a lot of luggage. I'm moving. So that was irritating. That don't look like no fucking second floor to me. That's the goddamn third floor. I know I'm not crazy. That would be the second floor. That is the third floor. She told me second floor. I had to go up all those fucking steps. All right, I am checking out of this place today. It's not even six o'clock in the morning. I probably rested for about three hours, so. I did beat my face, but I'm filtering it because I got bags. I got bags. <laughs> you can hear it in my voice how tired I am. I had slept probably three hours the night before because my flight was so early. And then I probably got like three hours of sleep last night. Um, I didn't even get in that bed. Like, I just, okay, so let me just tell you. I went to Super Aki, I got what I could as a vegan. Um, so I made some spaghetti, pasta sauce. I sat down to eat, went back to, in a salad, of course. Went back to the counter to go clean up and it was an ant infestation. <laughs> that 
there's going to be bugs or something. I get it. I'm in the goddamn jungle. It's the tropics here. But I'm on the top floor. Mind you, that's the other issue of an apartment. And the ants are just like, oh, what'd you bring me to eat? Nothing. Nothing. This, <laughs> y'all, no, this is my food. But anyway, um, yeah, I can't do it. I can't do these steps every day um, for God knows how long because I still haven't found my house. And um, I can't do ants. Like, I'm not going to fight with y'all every time I try to fix something to eat. I mean, it would be, a, it's, it's a good diet <laughs> to keep your ass from eating. But I'm not trying to lose my weight that way. So I'm out this bitch. <laughs> So I ended up doing what I should have did from the very beginning. Now, I was trying to save a little bit of coin and I decided to book this place, which wasn't too expensive. I normally will do like a Marriott or whatever, but the Marriott was actually further away from where I need to be, where I'm looking. And that would just be too much travel time for somebody who's new. I don't want to be like venturing out too much. And I know you guys are probably like, well, isn't her niece there? Well, yeah, my niece has a house here, but my niece is adventurous. You know, she was just in Spain and spoke to her yesterday. She's like diving in Italy. So, you know, she got shit going on. Not everybody is um, here to hold my hand while I try to figure out my life. You know, they got their own life. So I do have people that are higher. I have an advisor and I have another friend here too. But yeah, I'm on my own right now in terms of finding a place. This is kind of the neighborhood. It's in a Pravada, but no amenities. Hola, hola. This was a home that I found online and it was listed by Century 21. The realtor, Rose Alba, had showed it to my realtor, Agassi, before and we did a tour via video. Did they fix it? And I liked it. There was a few things that I wanted them to fix and they did go ahead and fix them. And I just want to know, what do you think of this house? What would you change about it? Do you like it or not? I don't know. All right, let's get back to the tour. Have a closer look. Oh, it's cute. It's actually pretty deep over there. Well, somewhat. Okay. I'm gonna do kitchen first. House number two, no Pravada, very secluded. Uh, okay, so let's just pull into the driveway. First of all, there's like a hut right next to it. Okay, so let's go see. No drawers, just all 
small cabinet doors. Fridge here, stove here. this little shed that's there and that belongs to whoever owns that land um, and they use that to keep materials in for when they're building but this is cute you put plants in here line this whole thing um, this is the street and so yeah I mean you could always put like a mesh screen right there and this is really cute. I mean, the house is super cute. I just have my issues with when are they gonna start building? And, you know. So there's the front door right there. I don't know if this is another lot or that goes with this house. So back into the primary bedroom. Lock the door. And down the hall. And then we're gonna go down the stairs. All right. Down the steps. I like the little lights on the stairs. Super cute. And here we go. So this is a better view. So you can see. Love that rock wall, it's so pretty. They probably got those from right outside. That's the bedroom door right there. To the outside little patio here. This third house had people still in it and I didn't want to film, but the kitchen was small. Okay, so I'm following this uh, realtor. I met her before. We're coming into Fernanda Privada. I don't know what that is, but okay. So I'm just following her in to another house. Very pretty ground. There's still building. They're building everywhere in Minnesota. I mean, we are in Kontal, but they're building everywhere. This one, then that means 
because there's an empty lot right here. They can start building at any time. Store is huge. Going in. When you come in, there is a powder room right here. And the ceilings are so high. Like it feels like two stories, but it's not. Um, and outside, there is a garden here. And they're gonna either put gravel or tile, and then the swimming pool is back there. Okay, just FYI, it is not unusual for kitchens in Mexico to come without appliances. You would have to supply your own. So we go down the hall. <laughs> okay, so here's one room. It's kind of small. So this is one. family room dining area. I am so moist. Y'all think that I should sell this. It's called humidity. I'm so moist. It's not even funny. All right, I got my tape measure because this door is huge. Hold on. So the door is five and a half feet. Five and a half feet is how wide this door is and now you get the picture huge but yeah I like it I like it a lot and there's a whole community that comes with it
as I stood here watching this sunset on the Yucatan, I thought to myself, this is the craziest thing I've ever done. And I don't know, it's been super hard, but today I got some rainbows. No unicorns, but definitely all rainbows. And you know, I do like my solitude. I like my peace and quiet but I also enjoy sharing it with you. So I hope you'll stick around and enjoy this journey with me, this chapter of my life in Mexico, and maybe you'll stick around for the next chapter as well, whatever that might be. Thanks for watching. I love you.